Hi, so in this series we're just doing, I think, two videos on sketching simple exponential functions. So, uh, how are we going to define an exponential? So, any time that the variable, which is usually x, is a power, so any time that's usually a power or an indice, we call this an exponential function. So here's some examples of exponential functions. And note, okay, the base cannot be a negative number. Okay, so for instance, we can't have minus 2 to the x. That's not going to work. But we can have any number. We can have fractions, we can have decimals, but we can't have negatives. Okay, we can have negatives there, but we can't have negatives as the base. Okay, so that's, they, won't be, they won't be exponential functions. So copy that and come across. Okay, so let's just say that the general form of an exponential is a to the x. Now, strictly speaking, um, if I've got you know, some number times a to the x, that's still going to be an exponential function. It's just going to go up steeper, that's all. Um, but it's still going to be an exponential function. But we're just going to say, let's say, y equals a to the x is the standard form, the easiest one to do. So if I've got y equals 2 to the x in a table of values, you just have to use your button that either looks like that on your calculator or on some of the calculators it might be x to the y. But I think most of you guys have got that button. If you go 2 to the minus 2, 2 to the minus 1, etc., you should get these values, so you get a quarter, or your calculator might say 0 0.25, a half, 1, 2, 4, and then 8, 2 cubed is 8. And so when you plot it, it ends up looking something like this sort of shape. Now, obviously, I'm not putting all the values in. Do, 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 no, that's 3. So I'm not going to be super accurate, but it's always going to look like that shape where it, it, once it goes past x equals zero, it sort of goes up really, really quickly for a simple type. Okay, so copy that and come across when you're ready. Okay, so for this simple parabola, we just had a look at that shape. The y-intercept is always equal to zero because anything to the zero always equals one. So the y-intercept is always equal to one. But for instance, if the function was you know four times, if that was the function, Okay, 4 times 2 to the x, then the y-intercept would be 4, but I'm, I haven't put any numbers in front. So for this one here, the y-intercept would be 4, but for the standard one, anything to the power of 0 equals 1. And you'll also note that the function is, can never be negative for the standard one. It never goes below the x-axis, and so this, the x-axis is called the horizontal asymptote, because the green line approaches the blue line but never actually touches it. Okay, so anytime a line approaches but doesn't cut, we call that an asymptote. And note that the spelling of asymptote has a silent P. Okay, now we can get the curve to go below, but we have to do something with it, and I think that's in video number two. So copy that and come across when you're ready. Okay, so we've just got one more example on this first video. I've just got 3 to the x, and I just want you to use your calculator, get your x to the thing in, and just have a go at that one, and get your values, and when you're ready, come back. Okay, you should have got 1 ninth, 1 third, 1, 3, 9, 27. So, do, 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 so one's there. Like, these are going to be real. I can't do super accurate, but anyway. So, 3... 9, 27, and change colours, again, once you go past it goes ballistic, and that value there is 1. Okay, so that's the end of the first video on exponentials, see you on the next one.